Hello and welcome, my name is Ajax Post and we're back here with another brick in the mall. Pretty much at the end of uh, the day, we probably started at the end of the last episode, I decided not to do... Ooh, a thief has been caught, that is excellent news and so you should look very embarrassed indeed. Is that another one? Or maybe it's the same one. I don't know. Right, we're just going to stop there for a second before... Because things will start happening and I, I haven't finished talking. You know, yeah, yeah, I do. I, I do a fair amount of this talking malarkey. But hey, that's what we're here for. Um, yeah, so <laughs> there wasn't a great deal special going on. There's no particular special events scheduled for today. In fact, there's not one for a couple of days, two days. Uh, start of school. So we will start supplying school related stuff when, when that happens. Um, and looking at what I want to do next, which is either expanding this area here or adding something else, which is what I think I'll do today. Um, I need to spend a lot of money and 53 grand, although it looks like a lot, isn't. Building foundations. Let's let's all stretch that out. I can't even do that. That's 78 grand. Curiously enough, I was watching, I was just checking something in another YouTuber's playthrough of Another Brick in the Mall uh, a little earlier today. And it seemed that foundations were a lot cheaper back then. So obviously, I've obviously joined the game when things start getting expensive, which is fine because it keeps the challenge going, which is which is what, what we play games for, isn't it, really? I mean, a relaxing and a challenge. It must test you to do something. Uh, anyway, <laughs> enough of this waffling. So we're running on through today. So we're making a nice sum of money, 31 grand in profit so far today. A bit of that will be chopped off by the end of day expenses, but what the heck. And what I also did was I paid off uh, one of the tiny little loans I had left over. There's only about a, a grand or so left uh, on that. So by paying that off, it meant I could take out another loan of a lot of money. Uh, ooh, hundreds of thousands if I wanted to, uh, which would then allow me to spend big bucks on our next project, so we will probably do that. Something else that I've also done uh, while you were away was I added another security route, uh, basically to cover this new end of the shop. I don't want to look at a member of staff. Can you, hide? you can't hide these buttons, can you? Uh, okay, we'll stop here because it's the end of the day. Um, which covers this end of the shop, which wasn't covered before, so this new white route here. But then looking at it, just before I started this recording, I was thinking, I'm not sure that's the best layout of uh, security routes. So we may well fix that. Whether I do it on screen or not, I don't know, because if you saw the one where I was laying out routes earlier, yeah, drawing a straight line is, is not one of my great strengths. And you can kind of see it in here. I don't know how I managed to get that line to go so beautifully around all those desks and counters. So we may do that, make that a bit more rational. Um, so we have a couple more security staff which do that round. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm not going to pay too much attention to that. So where are we? What happened today or the day that's just gone? Let's get back there. Uh, we're now at 83,000. So how much did we earn yesterday? Nearly 31,000. Uh, so it's a little bit up looking at this. A little bit up. Oh, very tiny little bit up on what we had yesterday. So we're making good money again, which is really nice to see. Uh, now, I've got 83 grand in the bank, so how much can I take out? Uh, the interest is daily a grand for 58,000. I want more than that. I'm going to need, I think, at, at least 100,000. Uh, so... Oh, so the day, yeah, the daily debt is. Oh, that's the daily debt there. The interest pays. Oh, I'm not sure what the interest is. Is that the interest on the loan? It could be, or the yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, well, the interest rate goes up as well. Uh, so, all right. So the daily debt is stays the same. Anyone, anyone would think I've not used this loan screen before, but I have. It's just that I, I don't bother remembering stuff, <laughs> if, I, if I can get away with it, because I can see it here. So let, let's say a daily debt of around five, less than five grand. 4998, that sounds good. So that gives me, I don't want 200. But if we take out, say, oh, we're on 83. Let's say 
Oh, should we take out? If we take out 200, that's just 46 days. That's fine. We'll be paying five grand a day. I don't have a problem with that. We're, if we're earning 20 grand already, we're, or by fact we're earning 30. But even if we were earning just 20, uh, covering that uh, shouldn't be a problem. Right. Famous last words, eh? Let's take out that loan. Got it. Right, so now we've got loads of money. Uh, a quick check on profitability. Good. Very good. Butchery. I love how that's turned around. The drugstore. The liquor store. Oh, blimey. The liquor store did very good business. Uh, men's clothing. Women's clothing. The comic book store. <laughs> the Mexican restaurant. And ah, uh, white goods. Outdoors. The flower shop, not so much. You know, that's obviously quite seasonal. Uh, the vape store, doing very nicely. Videorama, household goods. The, the beauty shop. The good reads. Yeah, all paper-based shops appear to be doing poorly. The women's shoe shop, very nicely. Ajax men. Uh, well, the, the, yeah, the news agent. We'll come back to that at some point. 62% for the films. 55 and our new fine dining doing very nicely indeed 63% I'm very happy with that uh, can we get yeah, that's up profit gross profit salary numbers can you thieve from a shop uh, a, a restaurant I'm not sure you can that's a good question for those of you and I know there are some of you that, that are very familiar with the game who watch these videos hi Mark <laughs> Do, do, do uh, restaurants and stuff get thieving as a problem? It doesn't look like they do. So they don't get the sort of uh, the run outs or whatever you call them. The, the, di the, dash, the dine and dash, if we can call them that. Okay, so what do people want today? Today they are looking for a media store. Yeah, okay. A TGC cards store. Could do that. That's an interesting choice. Or a fitness centre. Now, I have been talking for several episodes about doing the bowling, the fitness thing. We have researched bowling, if I remember right. Did that kind of... Oh, we haven't got a fitness centre, though. Ah. And it's going to be another day or two before we finish the self-checkout. Uh, but we do have bowling. Uh, what other sort of facilities do we have here for a sort of activities centre? Uh, we No, bars basically. <laughs> uh, oh, the cinema. We've already got a cinema. So, oh, that's a, that's a shame. I was going to build bowling and fitness together. But we won't. We're gonna have to, going to have to wait for that. So, the plan was to have this area down here built as a sort of activities hub. So that's what we're going to do. Build it in the corner or in more centrally. We'll build it in the corner because that makes it easier for me to work out where we're going. <laughs> so foundations. Um, I have been playing with sort of one tile of footpath around the shopping centre edge between the car park and that. Um, I'll, I'll keep that, I suppose. It's a, it's a style, if nothing else, so we'll need to place that. We're not going to have car parking down this road going down south, so... Now, sorry, looking at my... Sorry, jumping around all over the place here. Looking at the movie theatre, the cinema, that was 16 by 18. So I'm thinking we have a similar kind of size for the bowling and fitness alleys. <laughs> the bowling alley and the fitness centre. A fitness alley. And there's a concept. Someone really ought to do that. Um, the similar sort of size for that. I've forgotten what it was already. Uh, talk, talking and thinking aren't things I can do together. 18 by 16, right? <laughs> so that'd be... So if that was 18 down. And 32 across. Or 34, 33 with a wall in. Uh, 33, yeah. So there's a wall between the two buildings. That needs to be in the corner. So we can build one of them. Okay. Ah, now, the interesting thing is, is that the 
bowling alley, the the lanes themselves are one of those items you can't turn around. No, there's no rotating for that. So it needs to be wider than it is deep. Good job I remembered that. Right, so in that case, if we're building these foundations, so having it sort of 18 deep, I think it's fine. That gives you enough alleys, I suppose, doesn't it? I think. But it's going to need to be more than 33. I think if I build 33, because I was thinking of putting both in there, as I said. Let's do it like that for now. Uh, we best put doors in, because you know what the builders are like. If they don't see a door, they'll get stuck inside. So, uh, doors. Uh, doors, doors, doors. Oh, walls. There we are. Uh, double doors. Uh, double door. Uh, we'll, get, we'll come in... in the center there perhaps for both actually that's a good idea I think I'll do both so we put that there and we could have this area here as the bowling alley a sort of corridor here and the fitness center off to the left hand side and we'll put some put some uh, pavement down so that people can walk across and they're not uh, getting their feet dirty on the wet grass because it is raining today and we do want to keep our facilities neat and tidy. Uh, the question is how many workers have I got? Are there workers actually going to come down here and do this? I mean what, what are they doing? Where, where are they? Do I have workers? Oh there they are. They're, no that's just people with yellow hair. What the heck? Do I not have it? What's going on here? Uh, shift planning. Builders. Look, I have at least a builder in place every hour of the day. What else can they be doing? They've finished everything else. Oh, they're doing, they were doing that pavement, weren't they? Yeah, I put that pavement around the edge. Just a, to allow people to sort of walk along that from whichever place they parked and wherever they enter or exit the shopping centre. And also to give me a boundary to work to when I fill that in. Okay, he's down here now. Oh, he's joined by a, a friend. Good, good. Right, let's speed this along and get this built. And so they are. They have finished building this wonderful new empty block of stuff that we have in our super mall. So let's uh, equip it. Let's see. Bowling alley. Bowling alley. Is this in? There you are. So a bowling lane, they cost eight grand, gosh. So how many of these do we, that's, yeah, that is the right way around. So they take up, uh, what we, um, okay, if we put you, Almost if I planned it, that's a nice equal spacing of alleys, isn't it? So we also need order counters. Uh, shall we have them going up this way? As a, but we could have them there, so you come into the bowling alley, and you're then okay. What we'll do. We'll take you, we'll take you away, put you down there, and put, put you guys here. <clears throat> okay, nope, redesign that. It's a good job you're not charged as soon as you select or place something down. I'll put you back down there. And then we... We got room for another order counter there if we need it. Who knows how busy this place is going to be? Probably not that busy at the moment because I only have a couple of hundred customers at a time or something. I think so. Uh, right, and that's all we actually need for the bowling alley. So, but it'd be nice to have other stuff in there as well. Uh, machines. Yeah, vending machines. They're always good. 
Uh, so we could. Well, let's play. Where are we going to place our walls, do you think? Uh, that's a wall. So if we had our wall down there. Okay, that works for me. And then we could have some more doors in there. Okay. Then we'll put, uh, we can have the fending machines then. Along. A couple there. Um, an ATM. Probably a good thing to have, yeah, because you always sort of, you've had a few beers, you've, you've had a meal or whatever. Let's go bowling to wrap up the night, or maybe it's the other way around. I don't know, how do you plan your nights? Uh, you always get there and think, oh, shh, this is more expensive than I expected it to be. Uh, so you might need to draw some emergency cash. Besides which, they make me money too, so that, that's always good. Could have an arcade cabinet. The other thing they have, I don't I haven't been to a bowling alley in ages. They also have comfy seating and stuff, don't they? A lounge sofa. Okay. Uh rest well that's just toilets and stuff, isn't it? Okay. Um they also have those sort of booths. They, they have booths, don't they? Which are kind of like the, the dining table thing you see here. But am I going to want to spend... That's a grand. So how much was one of those sofas? I mean, would they actually sit there 1500 Well, let's put some of each in. And I can waste money by selling them later. I mean, the trouble is I've now got a good bank balance. <laughs> I can spend money. Uh, so we'll put the... Will people actually sit? Oh, that's not very well spaced, is it? Oh, well. Uh, actually, what I'll do then... Can I move you? Up there. There you go. Why is that? Does not belong to an active zone. That's correct. You're absolutely right. It doesn't. So we need to. Am I ready for this? I think so. Yeah. Let's uh, assign this a bowling alley. Yeah. Just needs lanes and order counters. That's cool. That's good. Uh, so. Let's rename this. What should we call this little beauty? Rather unsurprisingly, I think I'll call it Ajax Bowls. Yeah. Although Bowls or Bull or Patonk is quite a different game. But uh, yeah, there you are. Okay, so we're going to... What time is it? It's... Yeah, it's close at the moment, which is good. So let's look. We need cashier stuff. Who do we have? I'm actually on the lookout for a good security agent as well. That new route only has two members of staff on it, and they could do with three. But I'm looking for a cashier primarily, and oh, you're the best we've got. Okay, Brad, hi. Actually, you're not too bad. You'll do as well. Uh, you're better at security, security, Mary. So what we'll do, we'll hire Mary for the moment. And we'll go into, no, there's no builders here. <laughs> uh, so you're, yeah, we'll put Mary on security. So we'll transfer her to, where's my security? It's down here somewhere, I imagine. Uh, no, 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 no. Our security HQ. There you go. As a guard. Okay. Oh, it's taking me straight there. That was handy. So we do need to shift plan. As you see, Mary isn't on a route. So we just need to put Mary. No, don't need to do that. We need to put Mary on a route. 
Uh, do I do it just by clicking on the route? Yes, there you go. Uh, that's Martin Davis. Oh, bother! <laughs> I was, I was not paying attention, was I? Okay, so the truth is, I don't know where. Oh, I don't know where he was. Now. Uh, so. Um, you can't really sort them by starting hour. Well, I don't know what that does. Um, yeah, I can't really tell. Uh, we got two on P4, uh, three on P4, P1, two. Ah, he was probably on P1. We got uh, two. Oh, this does. No, it's the fullness. Okay, we'll put Mary on P1, perhaps. That route there. Yes. So, who else do we have on P1? We have Julian. And now Mary. They're the only people on P1? Okay. Yep, yeah, that will have to do. Oh, no, we've got you as well. Okay, that's fine. I think that's right. Uh, I said I will sort out the security properly in uh, uh, in the next episode, or I may, may do it off camera. We'll see how it goes. Anyway, I was looking for staff here for the bowling alley. Uh, we want another cashier, ideally. Uh, are we going to get anybody good? Oh, I could ban. I could take someone off the list, can't I? Who's really rubbish at everything? Probably Mayor Mindy here. Yeah, we'll take Mindy off. Uh, yeah, 27. Okay, Catherine. Yeah, you, mm, okay, well, yeah, you'll do as a cashier. Right, so, shift planning. There we go. We'll open at 9. I'll be going through there and yeah it's going to be the full opening hours of our shopping center there we are that is excellent just need to wait for customers to come in now uh, yes yeah, so what I was thinking was we might actually have a coffee shop here or some other sort of refreshment facilities which would be good, wouldn't it? Uh, what we could also do is add in some parking over here, just in case we need it. Or another bus stop. Bus stops cost 10 grand. That's not a problem. Ah, someone's coming to sit down. Well, that's good. And admire the uh, the luxury of a empty bowling alley. <laughs> Well, you could buy some foodstuffs from the vending machine, or you could play a game. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Actually, if we move the vending machine to there, if we move both those to there. Okay, and then put in. Uh, got some arcade cabinets. They're a bit pricey, but. But they might earn me some revenue. Put you in there while you're waiting for your lane to become free or something. People are coming here. This is excellent. But the lack of staff is kind of hindering the profit. They're not sitting on that dining table, are they? Now, maybe that really does need to be in a, in a dining area to be used. I think. Yeah. And I could be right there. Well, we'll leave it there for the time being. Right, now, something else I was thinking of doing was putting a little coffee shop in here, because people are always asking for coffee shops, apart from today. And this space is kind of wasted here, isn't it? So I was thinking, can I zone this while I've got the funds? as a coffee shop. Uh, where is it? 
We're at coffee shop, so... And it'll be a sort of open plan, kiosky kind of place. If I make it like that, okay. It needs cashiers, stock clerks, order counter. Oh, it needs loads of people, doesn't it? And storage. Okay, right. Uh, so, we need to build stuff for the coffee shop. So, we need a coffee shop. Ah, there we are. That's the order cap. Right, so we need... No, I can't remember how, how these go round now. <laughs> so, uh, so, I think that's where they get the coffee from. So, if we put two of those in, and we'll have order counters. Actually, let's move those out of the way. So we'll put all the counters there. I'm not sure I'm going to need these many cash desks and coffee tables. That could be like that. And a couple like that. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to need to staff that as well, aren't I? So let's come out of there. Manage. Uh, not that. Manage this. So we're going to link you to that store zone there. Fairly obviously. Staff. Cashiers. Cashiers are a rare beast, I think, aren't they? Uh, are you... Anybody here... Oh, you no. Know, anybody here any good at actually any of these tasks? Oh, dear. Right, you're a bit rubbish at everything, so... Uh, replaced by somebody even more rubbish. Oh, my goodness me. Uh, right, so... Okay, we'll go sociable then. So, we'll hire Greg. And... Daniel. Okay. Uh, so, you're the cashiers. Let's pause this for a second, just in case we run into scheduling issues. Um, stock clerk. Anybody? You look like a reasonable cashier, but you're not sociable. Um, you're, actually, you're quite a good stock clerk. You're not appalling. Well, actually, you're not very good, but you're not appalling. And waiters. Okay, waitering still you? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, ow, heck, yeah, you're you're quite impressive. You can be a waiter. Uh, any other waiters we've got lining up here? Uh, I'm not sorry. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I was looking for the wrong thing. Uh, you're yes, you reasonable-ish. There you go. So I think we've got two of everybody. So, uh, who are you? You're a cashier. We'll bring you in. We'll start serving coffee at 10. Uh, should we start at 9? Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep their hours shorter. So they'll finish at 11. Uh, the stock clerk. And we'll keep, actually keep these even shorter. And the waiters, you need to be on the same schedule, I think, as the order counter people. And I cannot, the thing is, I cannot remember how the coffee shop worked when I last had one, apart from the fact that it lost money at quite an alarming rate. A bit like the news agent. <laughs> but then I, I was a very small shopping centre, so that loss was even more impactful. Right, let's do that then. Uh, we could do a calling it something. Coffee by Ajax. It's like by special appointment, isn't it? That's what it is. Aha! Uh -huh. We have a cashier in our bowling alley at Ajax Bowls. Actually, we didn't uh, have a check of our businesses. So how much did we make yesterday? We lost money, but then I am paying out more on the loan. So... 
Yeah. So what the debts, net profit plus thirteen there. Interesting. I'm not quite sure how that one works out, but oh, I suppose they have to be. Oh yeah. Du what's it called? Double entry ledger keeping or something? Double entry. Yeah, there's some strange account. Well, that's how accounts work, isn't it? You have to have a figure in each column, plus and negative, to sort of balance out in the end, which is odd because either you make money or you lose money, and it's very seldom zero. It's very seldom a zero sum game, as they say, isn't it? Uh, anyway, uh, everyone is making good money again. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh, women's women's clothes doing well again. Excellent. Comics, no. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. And the bookstore losing more money. Yeah. Oh, oh, the handyman made money. Yikes. Wow. Okay, the news agent is doing very well. A f minus 400% loss as opposed to minus 700. Well, yes. Very impressive. Uh, the fine dining is doing very nicely, isn't it? As the bar's doing quite nicely, and the cinema. The bowling alley, we have bowlers. It's supposed to be played by a group of people normally, isn't it? By a team. I'm not seeing teams of people here. Now that dining thing, that dining table has to go, I'm sorry. Can I move it anywhere? Uh, could it fit in here? It could fit in here. So can I move it out of there and slip it in here for the big party group? Yeah. Okay, it means I don't lose money on having to just junk it. So we want... Uh, that was decoration, wasn't it? Uh, the lounge sofa. It will move you up to get you away from the vending machine. Yeah, move you to there. Splendid. Right, let's keep this moving along. Uh, yeah, our coffee shop isn't going to be open for a while yet. Should we put some tiling in there as well? Seeing as I've got money to spend on flooring. Uh, what should we have in the coffee shop? I mean, this whole area ought to be floor, shouldn't it? But then, no, the, again, the coffee shop will tend to have its own... Each sort of retail space would have its own sort of designated floor style, wouldn't it? So let's, let's try this one. Looks vaguely coffee shop-ish, I think. Yeah, I think so. Give the, give the workers, the builders... Are you going to catch that thief? Yes, I think you did. Well done, that person. No, we still... Ah, oh, this is better. Oh, they're, they're loving this. No, it's not hearts, it's red balls. <laughs> oh, well. well. Actually, what do people want today? They want a coffee shop. Excellent. TGC cards. Or TCG cards, rather are once again popular or in demand they love playing late into the morning the, 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 the place is closed go it's nearly seven o'clock in the morning go home they obviously have a set number of uh, balls or rounds or whatever it's called it's, it's ages since I last played bowl, bowl, went bowling so uh, whatever they're called they're not going to finish their go until they've actually taken all, t thrown, thrown all their balls. Is that what you call it, or is it uh, what do you call it? You don't stroke the ball down the alley, do you? Do you sort of um, guide it, hurl it? Yeah, hurling your balls down the alley. It sounds like something you might get arrested for. Right, uh, let's just wait till the coffee shop opens. Let's just see if I've got this design working properly. <laughs> see what happens. Ah, no, that's, oh, that's the security guard, isn't it? I don't think you can alter the security route. Um, by sort of moving it around in the middle. So, 
although you can sort of reduce it from the end, you can sort of scale it back and redraw it. You can't sort of take a point somewhere in the middle of it and uh, and move it away around. These guys, these security, I've got top people on that job. Yeah, bowling appears to be quite. Uh, yeah, they had no. Yeah, it's only been open for a day, hasn't it? So, how's the coffee shop working? Yeah, pe people are buying stuff. This appears to be. Yes! Self checkouts! Right. Now, thanks again to Mark who commented on the last video. And his comment, one, one of the things he said was. Uh, you're you're going to love the self checkouts because they make life so much better and simpler and easier to manage your easier to manage your staff, which is kind of the point, I suppose. So looking forward to to, uh, to playing with those, but we're not going to do that in this episode. I think this is probably a good point at which to end today's little exercise. And I'm feeling quite good. We'll start the fitness centre for our next research project. I'm f oh busy queues, Bar Ajax. Where, where's the bar? That's that's here. Wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I'm feeling really positive about today. Uh, we've got a new bowling alley. Uh, long time waiting for it to turn up, but it has. Uh, and it does seem to be doing quite good business. Difficult to tell on here until it finishes its first full day. Um, we're getting very few complaints from shoppers about queues or car parking. That, oh, <laughs> famous last word. Bar Ajax again. I might get, I'm going to need... I'm more bar staff in here, I think, by the look of it. Uh, no, that's a fine... Where's, where's, that is, is that the bar? Oh, that is the bar, yeah. That's where I put the, the table. Oh, I know why. I know why. Because... That bar counter... Yeah, that's a very short queue. That's the problem with that. Ah, oh, so this table here is what's causing the pain. Ah, right. So if I extend, if I put you down there. Let's rearrange these a bit, actually. I was about to wrap this episode up. <laughs> if I put you there and then move you... into no let, let's sell it let's sell it I think and I don't want to move that table because that's that I think it's another bar counter yeah so we don't want to interfere with the queue length of that by having that there we'd have the same problem Right, um, the, the guys will deal with that. In the meantime, I'm going to wrap this episode up. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Another Brick in the Mall. If you have, it would be great to hear from you. Uh, a bit of a thumbs up, a like would be very welcome. But even better, if you've got anything to say, suggestions, recommendations, hints, tips, even criticisms of what we're doing in the game today, it'd be great to hear from you. Just drop a note into the comments box below. And of course, if you've not already subscribed to the channel, you can do that now. And that way you'll know when I upload another one of these or any of my other Let's Play videos. But from me, Ajax Post, here with another brick in the mall. I'll see you again soon. But until then, bye-bye for now.